Oh shit. Time for aeronautical violence. Okay, so, hello and welcome on the tutorial on how to make a USB ejection handle. Um, I'm gonna pretend you don't know anything, like I don't know anything because I didn't know anything and I was a freaking idiot. So, uh, I guess first off, we'll go over what you're gonna need for this. Um, first things first, the whole brain of the operation here, you're going to need a, this is an Arduino, where's the camera, I can't see, there we go. This is an Arduino uh, Teensy which is like, it's like half of the size of a stick of gum. I mean, you can see compared to my hands, it's like half the size of a stick of gum. It's really tiny. Um, they're like cheap as dirt. They're a couple of bucks. I'll link them in the description. They take a USB type A, I guess. And um, there's that. You're going to need a pull chain from a ceiling fan. You can just go ahead and gut your ceiling fan if you want, or you can buy these off Amazon also for like a dollar and 90 cents or something. They're also insanely cheap. And then uh, you're also going to need something to be the handle itself. So if you're me and you're super Gucci, you can go get a real ejection handle off of a real fighter jet if you're a psychopath um, like me. But if you want to go the cheaper route, what you can do is just get some yellow rope from uh, Home Depot and some black electrical tape and just wrap black electrical tape around it and it's going to look like an ejection handle and there you go. That's all you really have to do to it. Um, you're not gonna have to learn to code anything. There's a robot that can help you do that. They'll teach you to do that. Um, you just need to know how to solder. And I have a relatively nice solder set up. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, well, it was like 40 bucks, I think. It wasn't that expensive, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of soldering in my future. Actually, I'll get to why that is pretty soon. Um, so I got a relatively nice soldering gun, but you know, any soldering gun will do. And this is not a soldering tutorial, so if you don't know how to solder, go look up a tutorial. I'm not gonna teach you how to do it, but I will do it on camera and show you how I'm doing it. Um, as for what I'm drinking, I'm not. Uh, I, don't do, I don't do alcohol and power tools. <laughs> Just like I would never drink and drive or drink and fly, even though I drink and fly simulators, I would never drink and fly a real airplane. I would never drink and mess with things that can hurt me, so. Anyway, it's just, uh, it's, it's water today, boys, just water. So cheers to that. So one other thing I should mention, uh, the fact the ejection handle I'm running is, um, it's actually, I, I bought, I'll put a link in the description. I bought a trailer breakaway hitch that it's like a box and it's got a thing and it, it disconnects, it sends a signal. And so I can actually yank the handle out of my, out of my seat, which I think is how the real one works, and it'll send the ejection signal. Uh, I don't have it here because I didn't buy a second one, and I already have my ejection handle put together. I'm just putting together this one for funsies to show you how I did it. Um, but you can buy that one, and it's a little bit better because I've actually like yanked this thing out before. Because I mean, you know, it's a simulator; it feels real. You're gonna think you're gonna fucking die. You're gonna yank on that handle pretty hard. It's it, it gets inside your head. Um, but yeah, without further ado. Uh, first things first, these wires are a little long, so I'm going to trim them down. Probably right about there is fine. Okay, that. And right there. Now, this Arduino board, here's the code for it. Basically, all we have to do is attach one of these wires. It doesn't even fucking matter which one. One of these wires needs to go to ground, and one of these wires needs to go to one of the buttons. You can use B0, B1, it doesn't fucking matter. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna solder those together now. So here I go, I'm making a fool of myself. Let's see if I can do this here on camera and not be an idiot. We're gonna do round. All right, let's see if I can like not burn myself in the process too. Yeah, solder, I am not, I am. Damn it, man, I'm a pilot, not a solder. So here's how this is gonna go. Done. Okay, so this is all wired up, and now we're gonna plug it into the computer, and I'll probably screen record for that part. So I'll catch you upstairs. Oh, I can start drinking bourbon now, because since we're no longer working with power tools, so I can get excited for that. Okay, so we're gonna do this completely manually, because that's <laughs> that's how this works. 
um, like you don't know what you're doing. So the first thing you're going to do is connect your Teensy to your computer. So I'm doing that right now. Plugging it in. And I'm plugging this in here. There it is. Setting up Teensy keyboard, mouse, joystick, whatever the hell it is. Down the right-hand corner, you can't see it. This is a little Teensy bootloader thing. Um, it says press the button on the Teensy to enter programming mode. So you hit it, and there it goes. It comes up like that. Here we type Arduino. This is the Arduino software. It's trying to make a. It's trying to make a. It's the last thing I was working on. Don't worry about that. So go to New Sketch. All right. No, we want this one. So you select Teensy 2.0. Put your code here, blah, blah, blah. I don't know jack shit about coding. I don't know about you. I don't know jack shit about coding. So we're going to um, go ahead and uh, go talk to a robot now. So I'll talk to you about a mistake I made when I first, when I first started doing this crap way back in the day when I first put this together. I thought that what I could do was program this to be seen like a joystick, but not every single Arduino board, especially not the Teensy board, can be seen as a USB device. So what you actually have to do is write a code that will tell it to do control E three times in rapid succession. So let's ask it to do that for me. So I'm asking it, hello robot, I have Teensy 2.0 board, I have a Teensy 2.0 board. Can you write me an Arduino code that checks if a button status has changed every time it's pressed? And if it detects a difference, it presses control E three times in rapid succession. Now, the reason I'm saying if checks if a button status has changed because every single time you pull on this, you pull on the ceiling van, it changes it from off to on, to off to on, to off to on. And so you want it to eject no matter what, it's whether it's going on or off. So if it checks that the button status is changed for on or off, it's going to do the code every single time is what you want. And you're going to say the button is hooked up to B, oh, what did I put it on? B2, two, two. bam. The robot says, certainly, here's a blah, 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 blah. There it is. I was going to spit this fucking code out for you. This code assumes the button initially in the high state, normally not pressed, and will count only low to high transitions. It presses the counter to detect three rapid presses and simultaneously presses Control plus E three times consecutive using the keyboard library. See, you cannot turn this into a USB joystick. Don't even fucking bother. This isn't even going to show up in your controls in DCS. Just, that's all you need. Remember to include the keyboard library. Make sure your TNC 2.0 is set up properly to ensure a keyboard. Also, adjust the delays as necessary for proper functioning. So let's take a look. Uh, add some delay to avoid excessive loop iterations. Delay 10 probably looks good. Uh, press Reset press counter if the button's released. Reset press counter. Great. Sounds great. Keyboard press left control. E. Yep. Looks good. Delay 50. So 50 milliseconds. That's about right. Uh, all this looks good. So we're just going to simply copy the goddamn code. We're going to whip out Adreno here, control V, and that's it. And you're going to hit upload. Compiling sketch. Done compiling, done uploading. Bam, that's it. Should be good to go. Let's see if we got it first. Try no warm up. <laughs> oh, man. I had to fuck with the stupid fucking robot for like hours to figure out to make it do what I wanted it to do the first time. So you're welcome that you can just follow what I'm doing and not have to fuck with it. In fact, I won't even make you talk to the goddamn AI. I'll just copy and paste the code in the description. You can just copy and paste that code. It's going to fucking work. If it doesn't work, we're going to tell the robot why it doesn't work and that's going to be it. And the robot is going to, the robot is going to, uh, is going to, uh, fix the code for you. Oh, by the way, I am drinking now that I'm no longer working with power tools. I'm drinking, um, actually not bourbon. It's wine. I promised my girlfriend to have some wine with her. So it's wine today. If that upsets you, fuck off. I can drink what I want. It's still bourbon in DCS. I don't limit myself to one kind of alcohol. Okay, cool. Instant action. Uh, let's get a Viper ready on the ramp. Let's see if that works. Cool. Here we are. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is, why is the... No, no, please, no. Please don't. Well, we're ejecting anyway, so fuck it. Let's see if it works. I'm going to pull the thing. Rut row. Does not appear to be working. Let's see. Adjust controls. Hmm. 
No, it does not appear to be working. Well, let's find out why. Let's see what the robot has to say about this. Let's try B2. See if it likes that. B2 is not declared in the scope. Interesting. All right. So we'll tell the robot, nothing happens, the button pre is uh, pressed. Apologies to the confusion earlier, the TCP mode does not have the built-in USB HID human interface device capabilities of the later versions. To emit the keyboard actions, you'll need to use the keyboard library in your Sura TC2.0 use keyboard. So you see, the, the robot is not perfect. And follow these steps. Hardware set, I'm sure your button correctly connected, yep, B2 on ground, for example, yep, that's fine, code, given the code, limitation on the keyboard requires the keyboard library, which does not natively support keyboard library, ah, there you go, so we're going to do this, here's the revised code, this is what happened the first time, so pop back into Arduino, and paste it, and upload, uh, no such file or directory, Okay, so we're going to try using the keyboard library instead. So let's try this one. Uploading. Done uploading. So now it, it, it did its thing. Let's see if I can eject now. Well, I can just check right here in the controls. Uh-oh. Does not appear to be working. Let's find it. Well, rescan devices. Up oh, there it goes. All right, so this is probably going to work. There it goes. Didn't know why it didn't work the first time though. So at least we know that the soldering is correct and everything. So let's respawn. that I have to hit the chain three times, so something's still wrong with the code. So, let's come back to the robot and tell it that. Um, let's see. There we go. So let's try this one. Mm, that might not be correct. This code keeps track of the, t of the time between button presses. Uh, well, let's see if it works. Fuck it. I don't know jack shit about coding. So we're just going to simply input the code, see if it works. Done uploading. Let's go ruin another F-16. There it goes. One button press, we eject it. Let's try it again. So now every single time that I <laughs> get an F-16, we eject, so that's not right. So let's see. Yeah, it keeps doing it. Yeah, so we're getting warmer. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Back to the robot. Uh, robot, listen. Oh, God. It keeps control e -ing. Stop. Please stop. Okay, I have to unplug it. <laughs> All right. Understood. To control the trigger, the control E sequence only when the button is turned on or off. Transition from low to high or high to low. You can modify the code, control views, and blah blah blah. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if this one works. It probably will. And the reason I'm going through all this is and I gotta plug the Teensy board back in. The reason I'm going through all this right now is just to show you that the robot is not perfect, and sometimes you have to speak its language for a little bit. Give it a shot. Compiling sketch. Uploading. Done uploading. All right, let's ruin some more Vipers. Okay, so are we still ejecting? Okay, so we're not still ejecting. 
I'm gonna pull it. So I had to pull it twice there. Let's try it again. Pulled it once. Pulled it twice. Okay, so it's only working every other button press now. So, let's come back to the robot and tell it what's going on. Let's try this. Alright, let's try this one. Back to the robot. Or to the Arduino board, I mean. Compiling, oh. uploading, done uploading. Back to DCS. Here's new Viper. Not ejecting. Pull it once. Uh, didn't eject. Pull it again. Ejected. New Viper. Pull it once. Nothing. Pull it again. Ejecting. Alright, something's still wrong. Alright. This will be the sixth time we have destroyed it. And we have become exceedingly efficient at it. Certainly. Here's the updated code. Copy. This should work. I had said that about the last 17 fucking iterations, but it only has to work once. To quote Dr. Brand from Interstellar, my favorite movie. Uploading, done uploading. Let's go and ruin some more Vipers. All right, here we go. We're in the jet. Not ejecting. Pull it once. Boom. Ejected. Get in the Viper. We're not ejecting. We're in the Viper. Pull the handle. Boom. Ejected. There you go. So this code works. So we can check this too. Adjust controls. We're not hitting control E. I pull it once. There's control E. There's control E. There's control E. So there, we have the working code. So that's it. I'm going to switch back to my phone now. So just to show you that this is working, you can see it's plugged in to the front there. And you can see that when I pull it, oh, I had to pick something else here. There, you can see it's not on control E. I pull it, it goes to control E. Let's reset. See where to Viper. I pull it, and we eject. There you go, USB ejection handle, just like that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Once again, I don't give a fuck if you like or subscribe. And uh, the reason why I bought a soldering iron is because of this. I bought an F-16 cockpit, and that's what I've been doing, and that's why I've been so gone and not uploading videos, because I'm literally putting together a whole new cockpit. So I've got a lot of soldering to do in my future. Anyway, thanks for watching my stupid video. I hope this helps you make a ejection handle of your own. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. This, you know, is really it. And, um, yeah, enjoy. Bullshit.